Hi everyone, this is Eileen from Northern Light Tarot. I hope you're all doing really well. So, the title of this reading is, What Does He Want To Say To You Right Now? So this will look into his words to you, his thoughts, feelings, and, you know, his next moves towards you, the outcome of your connection. Uh, so, before I get started, I do just want to mention, um, I do have another couple of channels. I'm just going to mention one of them right now. It's called Power of Now Tarot Shorts. I haven't uploaded there for a couple of months. Um, at the moment, I've got 540 subscribers. Now, the plan with that channel is that as soon as uh, I have 1,000 subscribers, then I'll be able to go live with you over there. Um, and the idea is to, you know, do some free readings for you. Um, so, uh, I'll invite you over there now. So, what I've done is I'm going to link... Uh, I'm going to link the description to that channel um, in the description box below and possibly in the pinned comment as well. So if you do want to join me over there, literally the moment I get to a thousand subscribers, I can go live. And as I say, um, I'll be doing all sorts of stuff over there live um, amongst other things, free readings for you. So um, having said that, let's go ahead with this reading now. So what does he want to say to you right now? So for this reading, just picture your person. Imagine them in your mind. And then choose between these three sets of cards here. This is set of cards number one. This is set of cards number two. And this is set of cards number three. So I'll just give you a moment to do that now. So I'm going to place aside set of cards number two and a set of cards number three so that first of all I can go ahead with this a set of cards number one so this is going to be an in-depth relationship reading for you and the person on your mind so let's get these cards placed down uh, if you'd ever like a personal reading with me again all those details to book in the description box below uh, and in the pinned comment um, I offer private readings, uh, all, all sorts of different types for different budgets. Um, I also offer a reading with a 24 hour turnaround and that's available, uh, seven days a week. So having said that, uh, let's go ahead with this reading now. So you and your energy, him or her and their energy, your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you. Uh, past, present, future together, and the outcome card, not to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. Uh, and, you know, the focus being on the question, their words to you right now. So uh, let's go ahead. So you are represented by the hanged man. This represents, you know, a tremendous amount of patience on your part. Okay, it can be willing to, to you know, ultimately do whatever it takes, wait, uh, it's kind of like you're waiting for the right moment here. Uh, let's continue. Uh, okay, so they're being represented by the Ten of Wands, and let's look at this past position, Seven of Swords. So this really jumps out on me. There's something here to do with lost opportunity. The energy is, you know, this mutual past energy is to do with feeling as though... Um, this connection could have been stolen in some way, okay? We've got strong uh, energy in the mutual energy in the past, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Now, for your person, they're being represented by the Ten of Wands. This truly represents, you know, I always say don't be worried about scary-looking cards. Because um, Ten of Wands, so we've got fire energy, uh, Leo, Aries, Sag. So it represents breakthrough energy, actually, because the more we ramp up, the, the eights, the nines, and the tens, okay? The nines and the tens, especially when it comes to the ones and the swords, it, it represents things can't stay like that forever, okay? Um, and the ten of wands represents laying down the burdens. There's burden and stress. Your person wants you to know they're very stressed and they're full of burden. But... They don't want to let you go, okay? 
they don't want to to lose this chance with you so fire energy could be dealing with a leo aries sag here uh don't need to be but the energy with them is very very heavy right now let's take three more cards for them And let's also take that energy towards you okay okay so the ace of Pen pentacles so this is good because this is about a brand new beginning and a new offer that's why we have the ten of wands okay this is breakthrough energy this is all about the offer of manifestation here um let's take a look so oh, they miss you the five of pentacles we've got strong earth energy here also capricorn virgo taurus they can't deal with this separation or this distance or this lack of transformation any longer. Uh, let's take a look. The nine of wands. And then the, there we go. I, I was talking about the, the nines and the tens and here they are. Here they are. Just the way that the energy channels through these cards is amazing. The nine of wands and the nine of swords break through energy, okay? Um they literally can't sleep they want you to know they can't sleep um without you by their side um they know that it's kind of like they want to say i'm sorry i've been a nightmare i know that i've been a nightmare but but i miss you i miss you so much um and things are not they want to say like that they've been suffering a lot of stress inside of their mind okay um they're in a dark place but whatever it is, they want this new beginning with you, okay? Oh, yeah, your energy towards them, the lovers. There it is. The love. Let's take, oh, and more love. Okay, they love you. Ace of Cups. So both of you could be water signs, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. This is, this is about, a, a, it could be about a big decision here, okay? Because the Ace of Cups is very, very serious. And we have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. This is about a big step forwards in their connection towards you. What they're going to manifest with you. Um, I, I clearly see the Ace of Cups right in the central position on the timeline, representing the moment of now that you two love each other. Okay? See it very strongly. Uh, let's take this card going forwards. That leap of faith. There's going to be a leap of faith here for you two going forwards. There truly is. And I'm seeing it as like a real strong new beginning, okay? Because we've got lots of breakthrough energy. We've got the two aces, which represent the new energy. And then we've got, we've literally got out with the old and in with the new because we've got these nines and tens over here. And then we have the leap of faith. So it's about them taking this leap of faith towards you, okay? Absolutely. Okay, let's take a three going forwards. Let's look at the timeline. Okay, so we have temperance hermit three major arcanas very very powerful there's time the soul searching and then comes the sun then comes the joy and the happiness of your union okay um so it says here don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it's only be by only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others so this is this is what it's about over here it's about the breakthrough energy that so that they're going to be true to themselves and then they can be true towards you very powerful reading i have to say so um there it is they want a beginning or a new beginning with you that's the overwhelming message here okay and it's serious it's really quite serious i have to say 
Um, okay, let's take this outcome card. I'm also just going to take three cards now for overall clarity, guidance, and prediction. And as I say, if you want to subscribe to my other channel, uh, that's where I'll be going live and offering free readings. Uh, and that's all linked below. Um, so feel free also to subscribe to this channel. Uh, so let's take a look. Oh, beautiful. A celebration. Oh, my goodness. The Ace of Cups with the celebration right above it. A true heart connection. A true heart connection. Let's take a look. And it's very, very passionate also. Page of Wands. There's some passionate messages coming in here. Six of Swords and the world. This is something about the lost opportunity. The message is, I'm sorry I left. I'm sorry, we're apart. They want to come back full circle with you. They want to be in your life. The world energy, the best card in the entire deck of tarot. So it's about an expanse of time or distance, but it's coming full circle here for you too. That's incredible. So uh, I'll leave that one there and I really hope that you found it helpful. I'm going to move on now to set of cards number two. Okay, so moving on now to this set of cards number two. What does he want to say to you right, right now? His thoughts, feelings, and we'll look into the future, you know, his next moves towards you and the outcome. So let's go ahead. So let's place these cards down. I just want to quickly mention, if you'd like a personal reading with me, all of those details are in the description box below. Uh, book via Etsy or PayPal, and I offer a reading with a 24-hour turnaround, seven days a week. So having said that, let's go ahead with this reading now. So you and your energies, them and their energies, your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, past, present, future together, outcome card, not to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. And the focus being on the title of the reading. What does he want to say to you right now? So let's go ahead. So you are the two of swords. This is about a decision. Um, it's about a difficult decision. That's what the sword, this, this two of swords represents. So, okay, we've got, okay. I'm seeing double R. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, I'm seeing a double water, a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, a combination of both. Okay. Now, I feel here there's been a long time. For some of you, it represents time. Okay. Um, they want you to know that you complete them emotionally. Okay, that, that's the, the first thing. Um, it feels like you two have been waiting for each other. Okay. Um, let's continue. I want to take three cards for them. And I also want to look at the past position. Now, the two of swords can represent a difficult decision. So within you, you may be wondering whether it's now time to step away, okay? Um, let's take a look at this past position, but you two make each other so happy. That's the thing, okay? For some of you, you've got children together. That's for some of you. Um, let's take three more for the past also.
there's jo there's real bliss associated with the sun energy okay there was a time when you two were happy and underneath it all you you two know that you make each other happy okay um or oh, there could have there could actually have been a split here we've got the tower okay the devil the three of cups yeah i'm seeing strongly here that there's there could well well strongly have been a split we've got the tower we've got the devil we've got the three of cups you, you know this is about really not being able to let go okay of the of the happiness that you two have or had um and there's something here about a literal celebration okay i feel like for some of you 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 were gonna get married that that was the plan something came crashing down um you two are still obsessed with each other um let's continue let's take a look here the knight of cups proposals it yet yeah, could be something to do with actual marriage and the ten of cups this is about the the, the real deal okay um they want you to know that they are absolutely in love with you and i, I feel like a marriage proposal here um nine of wands some of you may have to go back and look at set of cards number one because this nine of wands featured strongly in set of cards number one here in the same place okay um this is about f for some of you it's it's like the the fearful of giving giving it all okay of being that vulnerable it's kind of like they they know deep down but this is just this i just feel there's this last little bit of resistance and it's to do with what's going on in their mind it's got nothing to do with you um yeah so your energy towards them the four of swords because there has been some time involved here and this is why you're considering stepping back with the two of swords um i feel like they're reaching clarity or just about to reach clarity okay but i feel like this is a message for you this two of swords that you know you it's it's not not an easy decision for you to do this but it feels like the best thing right now to step back okay um your person may have a troubled mind right now oh four of wands incredible you both want reunion celebration there's quite a timeline here i have to say it's kind of like you two came together it was incredible and then there was like there could like literally have been an obsession then it all came crashing down but deep down you two know know that you you love each other and now you want to reunite oh my and there it is the knight of cups proposals um that's really beautiful so we have the knight of cups twice so if there was ever a proposal, this is a proposal, okay? I'm getting such strong energies in these readings today. Because set of cards number one was very, very powerful also. Um, this is about two people, two people moving in together, okay? This is about the homecoming. This is about everything being beautifully complete okay i'm literally seeing a log fire i'm seeing two people setting up home together okay uh and it, it 
life has never felt so good. It's never felt this good. That's what I'm seeing going forwards. It's very passionate. Like, you two, you know, there's gonna be ups and downs here. You're so in love that it makes you both very vulnerable, okay? Um, okay, let's continue, okay? Um, let's take this card. Okay, so things are gonna happen when they're supposed to happen here, okay? Um, now this is very interesting, this Nine of Wands, because, oh, yeah. This is about them kind of like, almost like having a, a mental upgrade, okay? Because there's something here about throwing caution to the wind with the nine and the eight of wands, okay? Um, so this has been dramatic don't rush into it but it's on its way okay um let's take three cards now for overall clarity guidance and prediction along with this outcome card um just want to mention again my other channels so subscribe to that if you'd like uh you know for me to go live and um do some free readings for you all um and uh, I'd be so grateful if you found this reading helpful to give it a like. And if you subscribe to this channel, then you'll catch my next reading. So let's take a look now. Oh, there it is, the chariot. Taking the reins of life and doing what feels right. It's so strong. That's the outcome here. Let's take a look. Yeah. The conversation that changes everything. That's what I call the Knight of Swords. Um, this is this is life changing. The chariot with the Knight of Swords. Beautiful. There's gonna be a moment. Nine of Cups and the Four of Wands again. There it is. Coming home. Dreams being manifested, okay? So it's it's dramatic, it's passionate. Um, there's a life-affirming moment here. Uh, the journey is gonna commence. There it is, three of wands going forwards. So there it is. Um, okay, I'm going to move on now to set of cards number three. Let's give these a little shuffle. Okay, so so now, moving on to this a set of cards number three. What does he or she want to say to you right now? Looking into what they want to say, their thoughts, feelings, next moves. It's an in-depth relationship reading, so it's going to look into the future for you too. So let's first of all, Get these cards placed down. So, I do just want to mention quickly, if you would ever like a personal reading with me, all of the details to book are in the description box below uh, via Etsy or PayPal, and I offer a 24-hour turnaround reading uh, seven days a week, and all of those details are in the description box below. So, having said that, 
you and your energies of them and their energies, your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, your past, present, future together, outcome card, never to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. So let's go ahead now with this reading. Um, five of Cups. So you are the Five of Cups. So, you know, we can't mess around with the difficult energy of the Five of Cups. So this tells me that you know, right now you're feeling very, you could be feeling very sad regarding this connection, as though this connection may not come to fruition. Um, you, you know, you could have split up. Um, there's going to be many scenarios. Um, but there's a, be there's always a beautiful message with the Five of Cups. The love is still here. It's just, it's difficult for you to see right now. I'm so sorry uh, if this is resonating, but the the love is still here. That, that's what you need to know, okay? Um, now let's take a look at them. Yeah, love, we've got love written all over this because we've got cups on both sides in both of your energies. So, you know, it, there's some strong mutual blended energy here. Um, either one of you could be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, okay? Um, let's let's go ahead and take three more for them. Okay. They want you. I know that much. Okay. And let's also look at this past position. Okay. Entrapment. Um, being all caught, caught up inside of your mind um, feeling as though there's no way forwards but there is because there's love here regardless of your scenario there's going to be many scenarios got uh, energy Libra, Gemini, Aquarius uh, let's take a look King of Wands so got fire energy uh, Leo, Aries, Sag this is about them like literally getting back in charge of of their life okay that's what the king of wands does and that's how they feel about you let's take a look travel you two could be at a distance oh there it is lovers so this reading there is there's definitely some difficulties here with that eight of swords in the past um but the nine of cups is the wish card the king of wands is taking control and being in the driving seat of your life and following your passions and the three of wands is about literal travel or travel passionate energy traveling towards you and then we have the lovers Okay, so, you know, the words to you, I wish for you, I want to come to you, and I want to be with you, okay? And it is, it's about being lovers, okay? So, it's just, it's, it's love and passion, that's, that's, that's how they feel about you. Six of Wands. More passion. This is about success and celebration. Um, let's take, actually, three more. That energy feelings towards you. Passionate messages coming in here. Okay. Something about, oh, three of swords with eight of swords. Some of you, it's third party. For some of you, you're with somebody else or they're with somebody else. They want to passionately communicate to you that it's you they want to be with. That's for some of you. 
There's heartbreak energy also, clearly with the Three of Swords. So there could have been a split, okay? Eight of Wands, waiting to hear. So there could be no communication right now between you two. Very strongly, yeah, Four of Cups. There could be no communication between you two right now. But there's a lot they want to say. They're heartbroken. They want to be with you. Let's take a look. They want transformation in this connection. Let's take a look going forward and whatever obstacles are in the way. And I see that there are several. This isn't just about one thing. There could be a couple or even three things going on in your connection here and other people involved. Because when we look at the Seven of Wands, we see somebody at the top of a hill and all of the people underneath, they're all carrying wands so that this can be people, okay? You could be waiting for them to end the unhappy connection that they're in so that they can have this truly new, beautiful connection with you. So let's take this card now. How beautiful, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So there's their words to you right now, along with everything else that's come through. How beautiful. So I'm going to take this outcome card now. I want to take three more alongside it. Um, if you have found this reading helpful, I'd be so grateful for that thumbs up. And uh, if you subscribe, then you'll catch my next reading. Um, and as I said earlier, uh, this, as soon as I get up to a thousand subscribers on the other channel that I have linked below um, in the description box and the pinned comments, then I'll be able to go live with you all. And uh, I really want to do go live, interact with you and, uh, you know, give give you some free readings. So let's go ahead. Um, oh, my goodness. The Ten of Cups. There it is. This is the card representing an emotional completion between two people. Um, it's you. That's the, that's what they want to say to you. You're the one. You're the one for me. I want it all with you. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. And whatever obstacles are in the way, we're going to get past them. Four of Pentacles. Magician. And that Knight of Cups keeps showing up. I think it was in set of cards number two and set of cards number one. So you may want to go back. The There's, there's some very loved up energy uh, going on right now. It's really incredible. It's beautiful. New year, new love. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I'm feeling it. It's giving me shivers. So this is all about opening up. No more fear, no more worry. Just saying it like it is. The four of pentacles to the magician with the knight of cups. This is incredible, okay? More proposals. I love it. Uh, so that's what's coming through for you. Um, I really enjoyed that reading. Um, gave me goosebumps. Okay, so uh, I'll leave the reading there and I really hope that you found it helpful. Okay then, bye.